You know, you hear about things happening all over the world and it's so easy to just sit back and just be like, you know, that's too bad, you know, they're over there. But we actually wanted to get involved, right? And I uh, decided to fly into Dallas from Winnipeg because Houston wasn't open at that stage. Um, grab some stuff from Walmart on the way down in the pickup truck that we rented and come on down and see what we could do. You hear a lot of stuff about Texas in the media and then actually coming down here and spending time with actual like Houstonians and stuff, it was, I have I have a really big place in my heart for them all now, so it's it's been awesome. We picked uh, the Giving Hub because they were kind of taking everything that we had with us. And by this time it was like 11 o'clock at night and we call Amy and she gives us to her husband, He's like, sure, come around for a beer, you know? And we got there and they came out and gave us hugs and kisses, you know, it was, it was fantastic. It was like these strangers turning to friends kind of thing, right? And what the Giving Hub was is uh, pretty much a donation center and people bring stuff in, we inventory it, we put it out in the tables that you see behind me here. Some is delivered by drivers that they organize. Sometimes people just walk in. We had a lady walk in today who had seven kids. A tree had fallen into her house. There's water everywhere, ants everywhere. She was in tears because she, she couldn't make payments on her van, right? Because she had to use that money to get food for her family. And uh, so she was distraught, but we, we, we loaded her up with lots of stuff. So she's gonna come back. She's, she's also helping the people around her. So I think that's what it's all about. It's just a sense of community, you know, the best in humans coming out and just giving to those that lost have lost everything, right?